Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com. This is episode 88 of Lightroom Quick Tips. In this episode, I'm going to give you a couple tips on how you can get finer control over the sliders in the develop module of Lightroom. Now, we're going to do this demonstration on this selfie I took this morning. And as you know, if you want to adjust a slider, you could just click on it and move it around. But sometimes it's difficult to dial in an exact number or just to get that slider in what you consider to be that slider's sweet spot for the specific image you're processing. Well, there's a couple things built into Lightroom to help you maybe fine tune that slider a little more easily. The first thing is if you just hover over the slider and go to the right where the number is to the right of the slider, you'll see that the cursor changes into a little hand. That's called a scrubby slider. Now if you click with your left mouse button there and just drag left or right, you could move that slider very easily. And that does give you a bit finer control, so you could maybe more easily dial in an exact number. Another thing you could do for any of the sliders is just hover over the slider to make it active. Then you would use the up arrow key or the down arrow key or the plus minus keys, one or the other, it doesn't matter, and you could get a finer adjustment. So for exposure, if I hit the up arrow key, I'm getting one tenth more exposure. If I hit the down arrow key, I'm getting one tenth less exposure every time I hit it. So that gives you a little bit finer control. Another thing you could do is you could hold the shift key in. And in this case, with the exposure slider, when I hit the, hold that shift key in and hit the up arrow key, I'm moving in one third stops. If I hold the alt or option key in, it's alt if you have a PC, option if you have a Mac, and hit, let's say, the down arrow key, I'm going in very small, two one hundredth of a stops. So there's 0 0.04, 0 0.06, and up, and so on. So you could really fine tune it by holding that alter option key in. Now, of course, those values change depending on what slider you are on. If we're on, let's say, the highlight slider, and I just hit the up arrow key, I'm moving in about a stop of five units. So from 52, then 47, 42. So going the other way too. So we're moving in units of five. If I hold the shift key in and let's say hit the up arrow key, I'm moving in units of 20. So a little bigger of a stop or bigger steps, I should say. And the alt option key in, if I hold that in and hit up, then I'm moving in just steps of one for the highlights. And of course, all this would be different. I go up to temp and I don't hold any key in, but I I hit the up arrow key, I'm going in increments of 50. If I hold the shift key in and hit up arrow, I'm going in increments of 100. If I hold the alter option key in and hit the up arrow, I'm going in units of 5. So you could really fine tune in your settings uh, for each of the sliders uh, just by doing those few tricks. So that's it for episode 88. I hope that taught you something you didn't know. I'd like to thank everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.